Convocation is now in session. As Chancellor, it is my pleasure to welcome you to our 311th Convocation. Before we proceed with the ceremony, I'd like to call upon Professor Emerita Margaret Kello to present Western University's land acknowledgement. Congratulations to all our graduating students and a warm Western welcome to, the to all the families and friends celebrating with us today. I'd like to take a moment to acknowledge that our beautiful Western campus is situated on the traditional territories of the Anishinaabe, the Haudenosaunee, Lenape, and Atawandaran peoples, who have long-standing relationships to the land and region of southwestern Ontario and the City of London. The local First Nations communities of this area include Chippewa of the Thames First Nations, Oneida Nation of the Thames, and Muncie Delaware Nation. In the region, there are 11 First Nation communities and a growing indigenous urban population. Western values the significant historical and contemporary contributions of local and regional First Nations and of all the original people of Turtle Island. Miigwech. To all our graduates, first let me say congratulations. You've worked hard to achieve this. Graduation represents a major milestone in your lives. At Convocation, we assemble as a university community to celebrate and recognize your achievements at Western and to wish you every success for the future. Your learning days are far from over. Learning is a lifelong process. Western has not provided you with answers to all questions. At most, we hope that what stays with you is a way of thinking objectively, approaching problems with an open mind, and a healthy respect for new ideas, all tempered with compassion and empathy for the human condition. You are forever a cherished member of this great university, founded 140 years ago. We welcome you into the Western family. Again, congratulations to each and every one of you. Today, we also confer an honorary degree upon Joanne Levy, an acknowledgement of her passionate and tireless work motivating people to improve public and environmental health increasing access to health care for the ultra-poor, and improving conditions for youth and others with mental health problems. As a recipient of the Governor General's Caring Canadian Award, we honour you as a speaker, motivator, and inspiration to all Canadians. To present our distinguished candidate, I now call upon Dr. Alan Leeshide, Faculty of Education. Dr. Joanne Levy. A motivating, inspirational, enthusiastic visionary. Mr. Chancellor, our university is proud to acknowledge the contributions to our world in the nomination of Dr. Joanne Levy for the degree Doctor of Laws Honoris Causa. Dr. Levy is a psychologist, nurse, writer, poet, musician, and life enthusiast. Dr. Levy is a recent recipient of the Governor General's Caring Canadian Award. Dr. Levy has, with care when needed and advocacy when it was demanded, led the good fight in promoting environmental health as well as access to high quality mental health care for all while focusing on youth in particular. Dr. Levy has spoken, educated, and volunteered in more than 13 countries. She has provided the motivation to expand public and environmental health increase health care for the ultra-poor, and improve conditions and access for youth and others who live with mental illness. These efforts have included Dr. Levy's volunteering and teaching to improve health care services in Bangladesh, enhance medical care in Haiti following the earthquake, and assist in New Orleans following the Hurricane Katrina disaster. In all of these activities, Dr. Levy has advocated for and taken part in the building of healthy communities and she has helped improve living conditions for citizens around the world. Dr. Levy's most recent publication, Living Recovery, has taken on the challenge of addressing youth mental illness, 
Following extensive interviews with youth around the world, Dr. Levy has brought many voices of youth together to help readers understand their journeys as they manage coping with their distress while dealing with the consequent stigma and social isolation that mental illness too often brings. Mr. Chancellor, at a time when the stress of everyday life stretches our own abilities, and at times credulity in accommodating and reacting positively to the events in our everyday life, Dr. Levy reminds us of our role and responsibility as global citizens, and in the words of Alfred Lord Tennyson, it is never too late to seek a newer world. Mr. Chancellor, on behalf of the Vice Chancellor and in the name of the Senate, I ask you to confer the degree Doctor of Laws honoris causa upon Dr. Joanne Levy. By virtue of the authority vested in me as Chancellor, I admit you to the degree of Doctor of Laws, Honoris Causa. Congratulations, Dr. Levy. On behalf of all assembled here today, I should now like to invite our newest alumna, Dr. Joanne Levy, to address convocation. Dr. Lashid, Mr. President, Chancellor, distinguished members of the board and faculty, it is a great honor and privilege to be here at Western today, along with fellow honorees, alumni, special guests, family members, and friends. Most of all, I'm honored to be with you, the graduates, as part of your commencement from one of the best universities in Canada. Congratulations to all of you, as each of you have taken your first step in daring to make change happen and to be part of the future. With a focus on education and change, today I would like to share with you three stories about my life, along with a few observations. Before I do, however, I want to acknowledge that yes, I have degrees, diplomas, certificates, letters, research, and all the rest of it, uh, with more than a dozen universities and post-secondary educational institutions as far away as Bangladesh, the University of Melbourne, and the closer to home, Washington State University, the University of British Columbia, and of course, Western. But this has only been a quarter of my education, and it has taken a good part of a lifetime to achieve. And I might add, with great comment from some. For example, I have heard, what the heck are you doing with all that education? Funny, I thought the usual line was, why don't you go to university and get yourself educated? However, the line I would most often hear over my life is, why do you keep going to university? Well, I'm about to articulate. And know that at the outset, since the age of 10, I've always thought to myself, I'm going to get as much education as I possibly can throughout my life so I can give it away. And since then, it's sort of gone to plan. I have obviously taken the idea of lifelong learning to the extreme. Let me share my three stories that provide some insight as to where I've walked and what I've learned. The stories address early life, the setup, adult life, the development, and adult life, the now. First story. My early life. I started my education in music at the age of five and was teaching at the Ontario Conservatory of Music with full youth and adult classes by the time I was 11. Okay, what did I learn? It's important to dare to learn, dare to risk, dare to succeed. And I did. I ended up being a qualified teacher by the age of 11. I learned from my adult and youth students that the relationship between us was the most important factor in the learning, not my age and not theirs. I was not a typical teacher given my age, but I had something to share, my knowledge. My learners were not always typical either. Some had special needs and most were a lot older than I, but they had something to share. They taught me grace, patience, compassion, humility. I moved on to graduating from Catholic Central High School, 
I was chosen from my graduating class to go to Moosonee, Ontario as a camp counselor as part of the CCH Student Leadership and Excellent Progr Excellence Program. Spending the summer working with Cree children and their parents. What did I learn? I was 17 years of age and not a typical person to the Moosonee region. I was a southwestern Ontario woman who was naive but willing to learn. The campers were not typical to me either as they were special, smart, compassionate, and we were from different cultural contexts. What did I learn? It was the relationships that developed that created the change that occurred in all of us. And the campers, their parents, and my team taught me grace, patience, compassion, humility. Second story, my developing adult life. I started pursuing higher education. I was instantly addicted to the love of learning and my dream was bearing out. The more I learned, the more I could give away through working, teaching, and volunteering. In my developing adult life, I was blessed with being able to work directly with people, either providing care or at the executive level, planning, creating policy, funding, researching, and developing mental health and primary care programs across Canada and eventually around the world. What continued to be in my head during this process? The more I can learn, the more I can give away. What a fabulous privilege education. It continuously fueled my desire to keep going, learning, to keep advocating for change, to share what I'd learned so far, to keep volunteering my time and resources at home and around the globe, helping people in situations with limited or no resources. I knew I couldn't stop. The impact of my work and the work of the teams I'd been lucky enough to be a part of, providing public, mental, and medical health care and resources to under-resourced regions and people, has given me experiences and perspectives that parallel no other in terms of understanding individuals, communities, and broader societal needs. Some examples, volunteering in Haiti once or twice a year providing medical treatment to thousands of patients who are too poor to access health care. Volunteer teaching for nurses, doctors, and engineers in, at IUBAT University in Bangladesh, addressing public health and environmental problems such as poverty, lack of education, waste management, vector control, and the lack of any mental or primary health care resources for the desperately poor. I also have uh, volunteered um, with a psychoanalytic teaching for uh, graduate students and psychiatrists in eight cities and universities in China through teleeducation. So what did I learn? Grace, patience, compassion, humility. And it is the relationships with others that create change and make future. Third story, life now, amazing. Remember I told you about all those degrees, affiliations, etc. Well, you probably assume that the school portion of my life is over. Wrong. I've just accepted to complete a doctorate of nursing practice at Case Western University. I will focus on how public health, culture, equity, gender, economics, environment, and geographical access to health resource impact health status in regions and populations that are under-resourced. Again, another exciting chapter is opening, one where I can continue to work, live, and volunteer. Continue to be blessed to learn, grow, and give. And what do I hope? The lessons that I've learned so far continue to bear out. The importance of grace, patience, compassion, and humility. And that I continue to count on the relationship with others to create change and make future. Now let's take this experience to a different level. My experience has not been typical. Apple celebrates the concept of misfit. I would like to think about this concept more as someone who dares to not fit by choice using not fitting as a way to think of change through possibility, rather than be limited to cloying rules that only offer barriers to evolution and better ways of doing things. I like this quote from Steve Jobs and Apple. Here's to the crazy ones, the misfits, the rebels, the troublemakers, the round pegs in the square holes, the ones who see things differently. They're not fond of rules and they have no respect for the status quo. You can quote them, disagree with them, glory, Glorify or vilify them. About the only thing you can't do is ignore them because they change things. They push the human race forward. And while some may see them as the crazy ones, we see genius because people who are crazy enough to think that they can change the world are the ones that do. So how do non-fitters make change? One word, education. Education is all about change. Why do we learn? Not to do things just because that's the way it's always been done or the policy or rule says so. Rules and policies are made at points in time to help guide us in our particular areas of expertise. 
until we find better ways in which to help people or get things done. New theories are based on new perspectives, new ways in which to deliver a service or educative practice. Theories can then bear out in change. But how do we get new theory? By observation, by listening, by experience, by practice, by understanding common knowledge, by reading about what others are doing, both theoretically and practically. This is called change through lifelong learning. So what are your takeaways today? You've got your start now in education with your new degrees. It's a privilege. Don't stop. Embrace the qualities that are required to be the change for the future. Dare to be innovative. Dare to be grateful. Dare to work hard. Dare to be different. Dare to speak up when you see a wrong, not just with words, but with actions. Things don't change if we are only critical. They change when we are able to consider the situation and then take action. Advocate, educate, be a role model for what change is needed. Each of us has that power. The power to be true to what is right and just. The power to offer help versus turn a blind eye. To educate versus retaliate. Offer friendship and compassion versus judgment and dismissiveness. Reach out and make good choices. Keep your attitudes positive. This is the higher road, yes. Does it take more effort? Yes. Does it provide greater rewards? Yes. Because that is what it takes to make change. Effort, attitude, thankfulness, compassion, and friendship. This is where societies thrive and war and violence are muted. Only through education, learning, and teaching throughout lifetimes can we keep healthy, strong, productive, and thriving as individuals and as societies, no matter who we are or where we are in the world. Dare to not accept what's impossible, dare to make it possible. Take your dreams with you today, create change and make future. Never look back and be the best non-fitter you can be. Thank you. Thank you, Joanne, for your inspiring address. Your leadership as a champion of mental health has increased awareness about mental illness and its impacts on youth in particular. Moreover, your work in countries around the world has increased access to health care and improved public health in areas where it is most needed. You are a true lifelong learner, and of course, you are a true global citizen. We are very pleased to be able to honor you today. Distinguished guests, please join me in congratulating Western's newest honorary doctor of laws, Dr. Joanne Levy. I take pleasure in asking the Vice Chancellor to present to convocation our newly appointed Professor Emerita and Distinguished University Professor Emeritus. Thank you, Mr. Chancellor. The designation of Professor Emeritus and Professor Emerita is an honorary title which recognizes long and distinguished academic service. Will Professor Carol Bynum please step forward? Professor Bynum is an associate professor in music education. A former elementary and secondary school teacher, Carol joined Western in 1988 and has served in various roles since then. At the Faculty of Education, Carol's roles have included Director of Practicum, Chair of Graduate Studies, Acting Associate Dean of Graduate Studies, and Acting Dean. At the Faculty of Graduate and Postdoctoral Studies, she has served as Associate Dean Associate Vice Provost and Acting Vice Provost. She has also served as a member of our Board of Governors. Carol is the founding artistic director of the award-winning Amabile Boys and Men's Choirs of London. Her research focuses on gender issues and intergenerational singing. Carol is an authority in vocal and choral development, specializing in unchanged and changed male voices. She has received numerous awards for outstanding teaching, was named the Women of Excellence in Arts, Culture, and Heritage in London, and was inducted in the Dual of Fame at Western's 
Don Wright Faculty of Music. Mr. Chancellor, may I present to you Professor Emerita Carol Bynum. Will Professor Jeffrey Dixon please step forward? Throughout his career, Professor Dixon has made many important contributions to academic life here at Western and has built an internationally renowned research program in bone biology. He has published 143 peer-reviewed papers including Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences, USA, Journal of Cell Biology and Nature, all very prestigious journals. Professor Dixon is a visionary and a strategic leader. He spearheaded the development of skeletal biology and musculoskeletal health as one of the two research clusters within Western University. Research clusters are designed to lift Western to the world stage by virtue of the impact of the research work that are carried out by collaborative uh, colleagues within those clusters. He has served as director of Western's Canadian Institutes of Health Research Group in Skeletal Development and Remodeling, co-director of the Canadian Institutes of Health Research Strategic Training Initiative in Health Research Funded Joint Motion Training Program, long name, and Director of Operations for Western's Bone and Joint Institute. In addition to these formal roles, Professor Dixon has made remarkable contributions to training and mentorship at Western through supervision and mentoring of over 50 undergraduate students, 30 graduate students, 12 postdoctoral fellows, and numerous international visiting scientists and junior faculty members. Mr. Chancellor, may I present Distinguished University Professor Emeritus, Jeffrey Dixon. Will the candidates for degrees, diplomas, and certificates please rise? Mr. Chancellor, I'm very much honored to present to you the candidates who have successfully completed their programs at Western. I ask you to admit them to the degrees, diplomas, and certificates for which they have been recommended by the Senate of our university. Under the authority vested in me by the Senate, you will be admitted to the degrees, diplomas, and certificates as shall be announced by the public orators. Thank you, Mr. Chancellor. Will the candidates please be seated? Mr. Chancellor, graduating students, colleagues, and distinguished guests. Convocation is the single most important time of celebration in the life of the university. Today, we honor those graduating students who through hard work, determination, and intelligence have met the demanding standards of a Western degree. Today is also a proud day for all of us associated with Western, including our Board of Governors and Senate, our faculty, our staff, and our friends in the community. It is wonderful to see so many members of our community of learning who have taken the time to be with us to celebrate this important day in the lives of our graduates and the life of the university. To the, those of you crossing the platform, join a very special group known as Alumni Western or Western Alumni that numbers more than 293,000 alumni living in 150 different countries around the world. So you're joining that very large and illustrious group. 
We are pleased to have with us Ms. Sandra Dadersbeer, representing our Alumni Association. I'd ask her to please stand and be recognized. Western's Board of Governors is charged with responsibility for the overall governance of this institution. Today we have with us Dr. Pam Bishop, representing our Board of Governors, and I'll ask her to please stand and be recognized. I'd also like to acknowledge and thank the parents, spouses, partners, children, relatives, and friends of our graduates who are here today. This celebration would not have been possible without your lobbying support. I ask that our graduating students rise once again, turn around, face your family and friends, and give them a warm round of applause for supporting your journey. Let me now congratulate once again the remarkable students who graduate today with Western degrees. Today you become partners in outstanding academic achievements of the University of Western Ontario. My warmest wishes to each and every one of you. We will now proceed with the granting of degrees. Before we do so, I have two special and important requests for those of you in the audience. First, as a courtesy to our graduates and their families, please hold your applause and any other forms of expression of joy <laughs> until the public auditors signal when applause is appropriate throughout the ceremony. Let me expand a little bit, explain what we're planning to do. We'll grant degrees to our PhD candidates one at a time when they come to the stage and get the degree from Chancellor, please hold your applause. We will wait till all of the PhD candidates are given degrees and then we collectively celebrate and you know, at that time please join us. And the signal will come from the public auditors. So after that uh, we'll have three graduates crossing the platform at the same time. So this is the part that is critical. So their name will be called out, and we want to show our respect to our special graduates. Each one is special. And we urge you not to express your joy at that point in time for your special graduates, because then we will not be able to hear their names. So when a particular degree group crosses the platform, we'll invite you to join us in, again, celebrating their graduation collectively. When the class size is large, we'll break them into groups and give you ample opportunity at appropriate intervals to celebrate the success of our graduates. So this will ensure that each graduate's names will be heard, and more importantly, this will make this event a wonderful event. We take great deal of pride in how we do things, and I'm pretty sure you'll enjoy it by the end of the day. Second, photographs are important for graduates, their families and friends. As you heard before the ceremony began, we are pleased to give each graduate a photograph of this special occasion. So therefore, we again ask you to remain in your seats throughout the ceremony, and of course, feel free to take pictures from there. And I call on the public auditors to introduce the candidates for degrees.
the degree card. And I, I, wait a minute. Mohammed Al Mazloum. Mr. Chancellor, the following are candidates from School of Graduate and Postdoctoral Studies for the degree of Doctor of Philosophy. Mohammed Al Mazloum. Le Chen. Sarah Kopfer. Lynn Dare. Alicia Lapointe. Shauna Lee. Lori McKee. Irene Malabiotis. Alariza Musavi Arfa. Jessica Tikar. Hello, Weir. She Wu.
circulate, but the body don't, you know, open. Desiree, Bada Badi, Yamatuale. Bai Ling Zhang. Mr. Chancellor, the following are candidates for the degree Doctor of Education. Lorena Bonilla. Kristen Bujos. <laughs> Celine Bourbonnet McDonald. Susan Carol Cluett. Christine Griffith. Georgia Lampracos Gionis. <coughs> Georgia Marie Powell. Mohammed Habib Ula.
Mr. Chancellor, the following are candidates for the degree Master of Arts. Alexandra Canzonieri, Nella Cotillo, Zhu Cheng. Jill Diane Dombrowski, Willie Dow, Melissa Glazer. Amy Christine Hatcher, Sheldon James Hill, Sakti Kala Chandra, gold medalist. Haley Gwendolyn Colpin, Ran Lee, Bethany Corinne Ford. Okay. Natalia Mushelak, Nicole Off. Casey Oliver. Erica Jane Partridge, Jennifer Nicole Perkins, Blake McLean Stewart. Devin Marcia Trower, Yuning Wang, Bei Zhang. <laughs> Mr. Chancellor, the following are candidates for the degree Master of Professional Education. Syra Arshad. <laughs> Mr. Chancellor, the following are candidates from the Faculty of Education for the degree Bachelor of Education. Carly Achilles, Naomi Lucia Adeje Asamoah, Paria Afghani. Elnaz Afshar, Tiffany Alexander, Tyler Jason Anderson. Kai Eng, Mitchell Arnold, Katerina Ivana Bago.
Sarah Bagent, Rebecca Emily Basara, Carly Amanda Baudouin. Isabel Bedard, Lauren Elizabeth Bell, Vanessa Belisario. Danielle Benfito, Nicole Blewett, Ashley Ball. Morgan Bond, David Bossman, gold medalist, John Bregagnolo. Jessica Brandt, Rebecca Brown, Stephanie Buffoni. Tori Cable, Leah Eliza Carlton, Danielle Victoria Carrier. <laughs> Brendan Cassidy, Hannah Cassidy, Aaron Cavalin. <laughs> Stephanie Chambers, Pooja Chaudhari, Roxanne Choi. Catherine Choika, Sonalika Chowdhury, Taylor Kristoff. <laughs> Jessica Clark, Laura Clausey, Alana Colgan. So I don't know if you know these folks, that's Joanna. Jennifer Collins, Catalina Iona Constantine, Kelsey Marie Conway. Chelsea N. Lauren Cook, Nicoletta Marilyn Cook, Kale Corbett. Okay. 
Maxim Cord, Emma Coverdale, Mary Lois Cowan. Catherine Cox, Nicole Craig, Hannah Madison Crow. Caitlin Riley Cunningham, Gabriella Sigan, Daniela Marie Dabrowski. Jennifer Davies, Nicholas Chester Robert Davis, Catherine Day. Melanie D'Souza, Ashley Deacon, Jillian DeJong. Ryan Delaney, Samantha D'Souza, Cassandra Christina DeStefanis. Vanessa Patricia De Caterina, Lucy Emma Donkers, Renee Michelle Dries. Danielle D'Souza, Joao DeWart, M Michelle Rachel Dumont. Kyle Duperon Haynes, Spencer Eagleson, Matthew Stephen Eckert. Allison Leslie Eves, Aisha Fazy, Umar Farouk. Shabana Fazlier, Kamala Subala Fager, Lindsay Flanagan.
Gabrielle Forget, Teresa Franchella, Kimberly Ann Froats. Amanda Fronchak, Jessica Santos Gaspar, Gabrielle Jeversalis. Puneet Gabriel, Sanita Jakala, Ashley Glenn. Alicia Sheree Glode, Katrina Gongalvis, Marissa Grotto. Gabriela Guerrero, Ines Habib, Stephanie Hagen. Leah Hall, Bridget Harris, Jessica Harris. Taisha Ray Harris, Yalda Hashimi, Megan House. Emily Mackenzie Hawkins, Belkiza Hazeri, William Healy. Juliet Edith Heber, Kylie Marie Hendricks, Joshua Holmes. Julia Hopkinson, Nicole Michelle Horniak, Taylor Ann Houghton.
Rebecca Howe, Kelsey Hughes, Evo Ilieski. Elizabeth Jackson, Virginia Jackson, Maria Yeshanowska. Jenna John. Carrie Ann Johnson, Lavinia Kanagaratnam. Marley Jane Cozier, Michaela Kovacs, Susie Cran. Caroline Kuczynska. Alexander Kurowski, Melissa Marie LaBelle. Erica Helen Lang, Thomas Vincent Laparicella, Nicholas Lau. Brittany Leager, Kimberly Lehman, Francois Daniel Laverser Portalance. Michelle Ann Lopez, Monica Lucier, Brandon Liu. Cheyenne Lai McKenzie. Joseph Mass, Christine Marie Haladi McDonald. Morgan McIntyre, Shannon Lee Maddox, Melanie Kirsten Madre. Kathleen Kathleen Maloney. Andrea Stephanie Martinescu, Eduardo Martinez. Okay, this is Marjewska. Marjewska. And there's another one hiding behind okay, there. Thank you. Okay. 
Jacqueline Agatha Margeska, Deanna Ray Matthews, Dun Duncan Maunder. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a large degree group and you've been very patient, so I think it's a good time for a round of applause. Ashley McCauley, Lindsay McCoy, Jennifer Lynn McDonald. Jonathan McKinnon, Stephanie McNanny, Kelly Christine McNichol. Nicola Meisner, Vanessa Medeiros, Janine Mello. Brittany Marie Mells, Julia Nicole Menard, Ashley Mendoza. Nicole Jessica Merkel, Olivia Militic, Haley Alexandra Miller. Is that Montague or Montague? Michael Miller, Daniello Miok, Alicia Montague. Nicole Morrison, Marissa Lynn Mountford, Kendra Ann Monroe. Madison Sarah Elizabeth Monroe, Laura Murphy, Michelle Elizabeth Murray. Samantha Nardozzi, Janelle Nowin, Eric Uberholzer. <laughs> Chris. 
Kristen O'Donnell, Nikita O'Hannison, Lindsay O'Neill. Alexander Michael Ormsby, Lauren O'Shaughnessy, Daniel James Ouellette. Kylie Marie Paquette, Megan Parsons, Sarah Helen Peet. Kiva Persaud, Aaron Peterson, Allison Pikasetsky. Tyler Pikel, Olivia Pikersa. Kadrina Puka Stewart. Annalise Poldre, Keelan Pottle Kelly, Nicole Elizabeth. Primo. Come on. Caitlin Ann Purvis, Sujivan Puvinan Savarin. Carly Lauren Ray. <laughs> Natasha Dawn Ray, Harmandeep Carr Rye, Lauren. Randall. She does want it. Ramia Ratherin, Jesse Reed, Cadence Margaret Shea Ramey. Trevor Daniel Ritchie, Gabrielle Victoria Rydell MacArthur, Emily Elizabeth Ritz. Amy Irene Ann Robertson, John Francis Roach, Jacqueline Rosen.
Lena Safa, Alicia Salvador, Maria Camille Santos. Ryan Santos, Alexandra Louise Sava, Emma Schilling. Jasmine Scott, Arlie Shaw, Olivia Julia Shiskowski. Ashley Singh, Cindy Sitsky, Kylie Teresa Smith. Natalie Ann Trottier Summers, Courtney Spence, Andrew Sporsick. Molly Elizabeth Spratt, Tamara June Stallard, Laura Stanley. <laughs> Stephanie. Stefanoff, Michelle Marie Suchard, Karina Suchu. Danielle Sullivan, Jacob Mark Swanson, Alyssa Schweitzer. Aaron Telfer. Jessica Alyssa Tenor, Amelia Sarah Kells Terbrug. Jessica Teron, Brittany Thomas, Amanda Lee Tomlinson. Okay. 
Dushisa Trikovic, Ioannis Van Kerpel, Alexandra Aline Van Deschur. Gabriella Varas, Deborah Varlis, Daniel Vinard. Spencer Henry Vinette. Brittany Daniel, Danielle Walker, Cassandra Wall. Jessica Ward. Lydia Warren, Sumar Wozni. <laughs> Haley Weiss, Robin Wells, Zoe Wesley. Alexandra White, Emily Elizabeth Williams, Jenny Wilson. Carrie Wong, Rachel Woolley, Megan Weidenberg. Jacqueline Meredith Young, Stephanie Ewan. I know, I know. I, I, I need to. Mr. Chancellor, the following are candidates from the Schulich School of Medicine and Dentistry for the degree of Doctor of Dental Surgery. Samin Abra, gold medalist. Farah Abu Shak. Magda Munoz. Nabil Ahmed, Tahir Yusuf Ali, Sarah Nicole Alves.
ladies and gentlemen, we're very proud of every graduate, and we want each graduate to hear their name read. So please control your enthusiasm. I promise you a really long applause break as soon as this group is finished. Thank you. Namrata Arora, Isan Asayabi Eski, Sumit Bansal. Ryan Matthias Bauman, Kim Lee Bocage, Pooja Bhatt. Andre Boban, Ashley Brown, Jake Carrier. <laughs> Jessica Siwan Chow, Ravi Chowdhury, Shireen Chavala. Minda Chima, Maria Chakeza, Sydney Kormeyer. Michael Coyne, Akash Dutt, Alex Drozd. David Alexander Fury, Santosh Guttal, Shazad Hashemi. Eric Martin Holm, Tiffany Huin, Hanbia Zhang. Duwan Ju, Jenny Joseph, Daniela Kachu. Yuchi Kao, K. 
Carolyn Carr, Jordan Kankate. Munjal Kaitri, Wanjin Kim, Errol Klopp. Gopi Krishna Kohli, Rifan Lalji, Vishal Lachman. Nadia Latifi, Alina Lin, Christine Liu. Nathan Miskin, Christian Mullebeck, Chaitra Nagaraja. Asifa Nareen. David Amoli, Inhe Park. Edward Pham. Fahunda Rahimi, Sep Ramani. Calvin Richardson, Michael Rulo, Anna Saleh. Omar Shihab. Sanan Sohail, Owen Son. <laughs> Nalima Soni, Chandan. Sra, Sadia Taslim. Sulina Rani Tatikonda, Aksana. Takashenko, 
Maitri Trivedi. Leah Van Drainen, Jason Vincent, and Kita Verdi. Kelsey Weaver, Shelley White, Alan Zian. Zubeda, Zubeda. In the name of the Senate, I grant to the Registrar the authority to confer degrees, diplomas, and certificates to those candidates whose names appear in the official program but who are not present today. At this time, I invite Ms. Sandra Datars Bear, representing our Alumni Association, to say a few words. Mr. Chancellor, Mr. President, Dr. Levy, distinguished guests, family, friends, and of course, graduates. To my fellow graduates, it is a, both a great honor and a privilege on behalf of Western's Alumni Association to congratulate you and welcome you. You've worked hard to complete your studies and examinations, and today you've earned your well-received degrees. Western, our faculties and affiliate university colleges are very proud of the world-class standing we hold, and we know that you share pride as graduates of our undergraduate and graduate programs. Now, all of you join a growing global community of Western alumni. We are all united by the Western experience, our cherished memories of our time here, particularly of the knowledge that we've gained and the friendships that we've made. You'll find your Western experience continues as alumni, and I would strongly encourage you to remain purple and proud by participating actively as alumni, cultivating the strength and the global reputation of our alma mater. It is also my privilege and pleasure today to invite you and your guests to attend a reception in your honor to be held in the University Community Center, the Mustang Lounge, immediately following convocation, where refreshments will be served and you will receive your 2018 graduation pin. To you, your friends, your families, and all those with you today, enjoy and embrace the tributes that you so richly deserve today and always. And remember, wherever life takes you, Western will always be home. Congratulations.
Before closing convocation, I wish to express my appreciation to all who have contributed to the success of the day. In particular, and on your behalf as well, I want to thank the University of Western Ontario Convocation Brass for their magnificent performance and their director, Professor James Mackay. May I request that the audience remain at their seats while the academic procession leaves the hall. Convocation is now adjourned.